first and the old fuel pump that I took off this uh, 2004 Chevy Classic 2.2 liter. So I've got the old connector in that I cut because you have to have a new adapter that fits onto the new fuel pump, replacement pump rather. And so I got the two smaller wires here, the purple one and the black with the white stripe. And this is for the float of the pump to tell the level of the gas in the tank. So as it just sits resting on the floor of my shop here, I'll just, it's at 39 ohms. So as I raise it up, you'll see how the ohms are climbing until I get all the way full. And so that's the reading that it shows. So starting at about 40 and going up to about 248. That would be completely full. And then another test I can do is I can check the resistance of the fuel pump to compare it against a new one for anyone who's interested. And so it's the two thicker wires. They're black wire, which I think is ground. And then the gray wire, which I think is positive. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter which way you hook them up because you're just checking for resistance. So just sitting here, connected to it, looks like we got about 1.8 ohms. So this pump did fail, but when I, I was able to get it started again by hammering on the gas tank, which freed up the internal moving parts of the motor to get it to, to pump a little bit more again. That way I was able to pull it into my garage. So in the next clip, I'll show you the comparison to the brand new pump. Okay, so in this clip, you'll see that I got the new pump here, and I got my connector all wired up. As you can see here, in another video, I showed how to solder these wires with a uh, pinout diagram that came with the manufacturer of the new fuel pump. Anyway, so I got my connector connected to the pink wire and the black with the white stripe. And this is going to check the float. And so as it as at rest, it's just 38 ohms. And then as you can see, I just go up gradually to about 250 ohms. So this is the this is the information signal rather that is sending to the gauge of the vehicle. So when it's empty, the gauge is down. As gas goes in, the gauge goes up higher and shows more up in the upper that you're full. So then I'll remove these pins and I'll check the gray one and the black one, which is the fuel pump circuit. And as you can see here, I got 17 ohms. So the other pump showed a really low reading, like 1.8 ohms, and that's due to the fact the pump is worn out. The pump is junk and it's almost shorting the ground, so it's unreliable. And all sorts of crazy things happen when you have very little resistance in a DC motor or pump in this case. And eventually it'll fail. And this just shows the comparison between the brand new one and the old one and how much of a huge difference there is in resistance. And that's why the fuel pump was intermittently working. And this is the reason why it needed to be replaced without having, you know, without doing these tests on the car. I just knew that it was unreliable. And you can do this test on the car as well, but I just wanted to show some bench testing here with the new one and the old one for some comparative testing and just to do uh, just a show of what a known bad or almost bad fuel pump looks like to a known good brand new fuel pump. If you follow these steps and do what I tell you to do, like I always say, do the basics brilliantly. Subscribe, like, and share. Appreciate you watching. See you on the next video.